Premier, five minutes. This election, like no other in recent times, provides Queenslanders with a choice, a very stark choice about which leader is best placed to manage the economic storm that is now raging across the world. It is an economic storm that has reached our shores here in Queensland. It is now sweeping into Queensland cities and towns and swallowing up jobs as it goes. Managing this downturn without a doubt will be one of the biggest challenges faced by any Queensland Premier since the Second World War. And at the very heart of this challenge is the question of the role of government, and particularly the role of government in tough times. In line with leaders from around the world, I believe and I am putting government right at the centre of the fight against unemployment and a global recession that is unprecedented. And to do that, I have a clear strategy. What I will do is invest money into infrastructure and building projects that give jobs to Queenslanders. And if that means going into a temporary deficit, then just like other major economies around the world, I will reluctantly do so because that is what the times demand. If it means borrowing, to stimulate the economy and create jobs, then like other governments around the world, that is what I will do because that is what the times demand. This is my plan. Firstly, I commit to our current building program, a $17 billion building program, the largest in the country, employing 119,000 jobs, building better roads, better railways, better schools and better hospitals. I will not walk away from a single project. Secondly, I can I identify that one of the most important things you do when times are tough is you continue to invest in the skills and ability of your workforce. Now is the time for us to be investing in apprentices and traineeships so that when the economy starts to pick up, we are ready to grab and seize the opportunity with both hands. That's why I've promised a 125% payroll tax rebate when a company employs apprentices or trainees. That's why we will require 10% of all positions on Queensland government building projects uh, to be apprentices. And that's why this week I committed to 150,000 new training places. Thirdly, we commit ourselves as part of our plan to grow and support new industries. New industries like the liquid natural gas industry coming out of Gladstone, a whole new export market, one company alone spending $1 billion in Gladstone this year. And new industries of the future in areas like solar and in areas like wind and solar thermal power. And we will invest as governments should at times like this in new job creation programs. Programs like the Green Army that I committed to last week, a program for 3,000 unemployed Queenslanders to be brought together to rebuild and build new infrastructure in our national parks and to regenerate bushland and open recreational spaces across the state. The alternative confronting Queensland could not be starker. We have the plan that I've just outlined, or we have that of my opponent, Mr Springborg, who doesn't believe that there is a global financial crisis and certainly doesn't appreciate the effects that it is having on both the Queensland state budget and the Queensland economy. Mr Springborg will not stimulate the economy. He will instead contract it by taking a billion dollars out of the Queensland budget and shedding almost 12,000 jobs. So at a time when government has to be the first line of defence against unemployment, he will tear down those defences. As I said, this election really comes down to how you believe government should operate in the toughest of times. Well, I believe firmly that in these times, governments have to step up to the mark and they have to step into the economy and they have to do everything they can to keep that economy moving. They have to keep the motor running when the private sector contracts. They need to be building and investing and stimulating the economy. My opponent believes, on the other hand, that now is the time for government to step back, for government to contract its spending, for government to be shedding jobs. That is the choice. My program, invest, build and create jobs. Mr Springborg, cut and shed jobs.